Darksiders is one of those wicked ass games that I can play through again and again and again. This game originally released in 2010 on PlayStation 3, 3 Xbox 360 and PC and I played it then and loved the ever living crap out of it, especially the fact that Mark Hamill is the voice of the Watcher. Uh, he, he always does a fantastic job. It's sort of Jokerish his voice, uh, his voice for the Watcher, but it is a this this is a amazing hack and slash game. Well, I say amazing. You might not think it's amazing. Obviously, it's each to their own. But Darksiders is just so cool. The apocalypse is started effectively by war because he heard the call. But did he hear the call? Humanity is being wiped out, and then he gets sent back to Earth several, several, several years later to try and rectify by the Chard Council just to rectify what the hell he has done and the world has been overtaken by demons, humans are dead and gone and you know war is being treated like the villain but is he the villain and that's the mystery so you have to go out and basically find out what the hell's going on so in order to do that you have to go to several different areas fight several different bosses uh, the legend of zelda style to then gain new equipment and weapons sort of metroidvania style to be able to then access new areas to get to where you want to go of course you have the old uh Volgrim, which is a recurring character throughout the series which he's pretty he's pretty slimy basically but after you kill enemies and also you can get them from chests you collect souls and use those souls as currency for, to Volgrim um, you can also use uh, you can also level up and unlock new abilities and that kind of stuff with war he has his sword called Chaos Breaker which is really cool you can fill up like a wrath meter and then unleash your demonic four horsemen form you can get gain your horse ruin as you continually keep playing and you can get your gun and it, this game is so cool it's, it's a lot of fun. It starts off very simple with the combat, but as you progress on through, it gets better and better and better. This is, um, if you if you are a fan of Legend of Zelda, hack and slash games in general, and you have not played Darksiders, I personally believe you are missing out. This is a really good game, even today. This is the War Master version, the, the remaster that came out in uh, 2016. Um, it's... It's really, it, again, it's an awesome remaster, much like the remasters of the tomb, most recent, uh, like, 1 to 3 Tomb Raider remaster. This is another remaster done incredibly well. Of course, Darksiders 2 was remastered as well. I have not actually played Darksiders 3, but I have played Darksiders Genesis. So, I should really play Darksiders 3, but I have it on the list. I got it free through PlayStation Plus some time ago, so I will get there after I've gone back through Darksiders and Darksiders 2. Darksiders 3 is definitely on the slate, but Darksiders 1 is just fun. You know, there's a bit of there's a bit of platforming to do, there's some puzzles to find, you have to find certain keys and pull different levers to unlock different areas. It's just it's just Dark Legend of Zelda, and the second game doubles down on it and becomes super dark uh, Legend of Zelda with loot, effectively. But with this first game, you don't get loot. You just stick with what you have, and you progress through the story, and you fight some really awesome bosses, like Tiamat, for example. Um, I'm not going to give too much away, because I want you to play it. If you've never played it before, I don't want you to see too much, because this is this is just one of my favourite comfort food-style games. And one, like I said, I could just keep going back to. Uh, it was released eventually on, like, everything. Uh, with the War Mastered version. It came out on the Wii U even. even came out on the Stadia, if you remember the Stadia. That was a thing. Um, and it, it is, it's also, of course, available on the Switch as well. So if you have a Switch, it's on there as well. I'm not 100% sure how it runs. I don't have it on the Switch. Um, but I have played the second one on Switch, and that wasn't too bad. So hopefully the first game shouldn't be too bad either. But let me know in the comments down below if you have checked out Darksiders, and if you have not Please do. You can always get the game dirt cheap. Um, it, it's not. A, it's an old game. It's. I, I wouldn't say it's on anybody's top ten games of all time list. It may be. You never know. But it's definitely worth a play. And as always, thank you very much for watching.
battle. I almost didn't hear you coming. Vogue 